everyone, welcome to a tutorial. Today I am showing you how to create a clickable table of contents in Microsoft Word. So this was a question in my publishing on Amazon uh, course and uh, thank you so much for the student who gave me this question because it's something that I didn't explain earlier. So it's actually not hard at all. So say you have your book right here and this is a draft version of my Teach Online Make Money Doing What You Love book, which you can find on Amazon if you want to. But say you have your basic book, you have a table of contents, or in this example, I actually have section beginnings, intros, and in each section intro that it shows what chapters are in that section. And so I can create these as a linkable, clickable table of contents as well. So whatever you're doing, this tutorial basically just shows how to create, how to have some piece of text in your Word document be able to click and take you to another piece of text. The first thing you have to do is at the beginning of each chapter, you need to change the style of the chapter heading. And to do that, just go up to the top of Word and click this Show or Hide toolbox. And this opens up the Style toolbox, which is really handy. And what you want to do is just basically go through and change all of these headings to one of these heading options. So I'm just going to change it to Heading 1. And you can modify the style, say you want different color, different font, but I'm not going to do that right now, I'll just leave it as this. And you see that it changes to a different type of font. And now that is a heading. And then you would just go through and do this for all of your headings, your chapter headings, and then make sure you format it properly, You know, get all your spacing down. So say you do go through your book, do that for all of your chapters, then you go to the table of contents and you have each chapter. It can just be, you know, the title of the book. It could have the title of the book and the page number it starts on. For ebooks, you don't really want to have page numbers because on different ebook readers, it the page numbers might be different. And then just highlight the text itself. Go up to insert hyperlink or just press command K or control K on a Windows computer and that will open up this hyperlink box. It's the same box if you, that pops up if you want to link to a web page. But right now, we want to link to an anchor. You see these two options, a file, uh, a web page, um, a document, or an email address even. So make sure you're on the document tab because if you're on a web page, you can't click this anchor. So choose document. And then under Anchor, select Locate. And it opens up the options for types of anchors in your document. It could be the top of the document, you can add bookmarks, or it could be one of your headings. And you'll notice if you drop that down, I have all of the headings that I've created so far. And I can just select one of them. So I'm going to select Transparency, of course, and then hit OK. It kind of messes up my formatting, but I can just add another space. And this is spelt wrong. And then you just do the same thing. Command K, locate the anchor, and select the chapter heading. And last but not least, my third one. And now you will see that if I click on transparency, it takes me to the transparency heading to the start of this chapter. If I click on your motivation, same thing, goes to the motivation chapter. Things to consider before you quit your day job, goes to that chapter. So, not too hard. I hope that really helps you out and explains how to create a clickable table of contents. If you have any other questions, 
uh, please let me know and you might have another way of doing it this is just the way that I learned how to create a clickable table of contents but you might have a different way so please in the comments below or on videoschoolonline.com shoot me a message and let me know your way of creating your table of contents that is clickable okay thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in another video bye hey YouTube you like that video well please subscribe to the channel for more check out our website for articles webinars books and more and of course check out our online course library ranging on topics from video making motion graphics photography starting a business freelancing to beer brewing resume writing adopting a cat and much more